Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and today is gonna be a final installment in a, oh my god, I cannot even remember what we called these. Unclaimed mail, mystery mail, somebody else's mail, undelivered mail. I knew if I just kept saying words out loud that eventually my brain would, oh my god, my eyelash almost fell off. Uh, eventually my brain would put it all together. So I kind of feel like this is a dead trend at this point. I feel like it was more popular like at the end of last year, beginning of this year, where everybody was buying these mystery undelivered mail boxes and all kinds of companies sprung up overnight and they would sell it by the piece or by the bundle. I've seen like so many different creators try so many different services and this came from a company which shall not be named because they are now literally out of business. It kind of like irritates me because this was a website that I talked about a couple of times. I honestly did buy a box from this company and then they like sent me a box from their company. I kind of think that that's like what happens with a lot of these companies is they start off, oh my God, do I have lipstick on my teeth? <gasps> I probably do. I was just filming like a wild and crazy TikTok. Anyway, I think a lot of these companies like start up overnight. They have good intentions. They intend on doing it. Honestly, I'm just giving everybody the benefit of the doubt. I have no idea really who these people are. Um, but I would imagine like these companies start up. They are sending people out the real deal, unclaimed mail, whatever. But then I think that they start to get so popular or they get so many orders that then they can't like get enough undelivered mail. You know what I mean? Because from what I understand how these companies get the undelivered mail is they actually like get auctions from like USPS. They auction off a bunch of undelivered mail. And then I think these like secondary companies buy huge auction pallets from USPS and then they, you know, sell it off piece by piece or at a flea market or in a bundle, whatever, what have you. So so this is a box that randomly got sent to me by that same company after I made the other two videos. But right when I got this box, one of my very good friends here on YouTube, y'all probably watch her as well. Her channel name is The Cheap Chick. She actually got like scammed by this company. And that's like the first time that I heard from somebody that I knew personally that like maybe things were like not going so great with this company so I never unboxed it but honestly you guys this box has been sitting in our house now for months and months and months and I really did not know what to do with it but I felt like maybe hey let's just open it together let's even see what it is I think that it's gonna have 10 packages in it I think that that's what the other ones had was 10 packages correct me if I'm wrong like I said, it's been a long, a long time since I've thought about any of this stuff. Let me just pull a package out and see what it looks like. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is weird. This is like even weirder than ever before. So every other time we got undelivered mail, it actually came in the package. So it was like a super extra fun experience of like opening the mail package. But this is just like a box of random stuff. You guys, this is very weird. Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. See, now this feels like I love to do this all the time. Like I will order something from a company and then if they reach out to me I will try and get them to send the same something that I ordered just to like compare and see like what would you get if you just anonymously place an order versus like if they know they're sending it to like a creator a youtuber a tiktoker whatever but this obviously they would just that was my leg sliding across the floor. Obviously they can just pick what they sent to me. So I guess these are all gonna be real items. Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. I mean, clearly these have been a return. Maybe, oh my God. Samsung Galaxy Buds Live live. I've lost my little buds here. Only slightly 
earwaxy. Very interesting. Now, I feel like I have not seen these before. Maybe I'm just out of the loop. The case does look really pretty. I'm assuming everything that we're gonna get in this is real. And honestly, maybe that's what they meant to send me was not a undelivered mailbox, but a return palette. You guys know we've done some of those before from other websites, other brands. I mean, it comes with the charging cable. And honestly, I do not know anything about Samsung. So if somebody has these out there, like it's kind of weird. It almost looks like there's some kind of spill or something on the package. Like I literally, I don't know. I mean, clearly these are used before, but the light is shining and they were probably a lot better off before I dropped them on the ground. All right, something that is like very curious. And I know everybody has like different opinions about items like this. Sometimes very strong opinions about items like this. I personally, I don't care if it's like a return or like, what am I trying to say? I don't want like a toothbrush, you know? I don't want like a returned, yet new toothbrush. I don't know. That's just kind of icky, right? I just sliced this clear piece of tape, but I mean, clearly you can see the box has been like opened and resealed. I mean, I, I feel like I could definitely still use this just as like a prop for all the weird videos I make. Like you guys, if y'all follow me on my Snapchat story, I have this like funny mouth bag that has like realistic looking teeth. And the other day I was like making a snap where I was like brushing its teeth. So I feel like if this is not too nasty looking when I cut open the top of the box, maybe I can still use it as a prop or something, but it's just like, I don't know. I don't know that I want a returned toothbrush. Like, especially not in this day and age. Oh, I don't know. I can't tell. It does have an interesting like scent inside of the box. Maybe I can just say it smells dentisty. Yeah, look, it's like all the heads are gone. Yeah, this has definitely been used. You guys, this is a used toothbrush. That's like the charger. I was gonna snap one of the heads on it, but it doesn't even have a head. See, this is kind of like weird if they sent this to me and they knew I was gonna like open this. Like, I don't know. Am I just being, am I, am I having a moment? Sometimes I say stuff like this and everybody's like, oh, I would use it, which it's fine. Whatever, I don't care. I don't care if, I don't care if somebody else like uses a used toothbrush. I'm just saying like personally, uh, as a germaphobe, I would not want even like a returned toothbrush. It makes me feel icky, but y'all can let me know, you know, like, do you care about stuff like this? Does it gross you out? Does it not gross you out? Would this entice you to buy a mystery return palette if you see things like a toothbrush? I forgot to say, it's an Oral-B Genius 9600. Oh, brawn. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it looks nice. It looks fancy, but still. <laughs> I feel like I've said it too, too many times. Okay, um, this is something that I wish I knew what it was. I feel like this looks like one of those things for people that build computers. I haven't had anything but like a MacBook in 15 years. So I don't know anything about PCs or, and I, you know what, I even, even 15 years ago when I still was using a PC, I didn't know anything about building them. Um, I just kind of like go into the store and say, I'll take one of those. But yeah, here we go. Can I just plug this in and have a fun little fan? No. See, I don't, is this something expensive? If this is something expensive and I'm holding it, in this fashion, people are probably gonna get mad at me. I'm gonna try and look these items up. And as I'm editing the video, I will try and like put a price in if I see it like on Amazon or what have you. It looks cool. And I'm imagining if you have a way to plug it in, it would glow in many rainbow colored lights. Wow. I hope that this is not something like super, super expensive because then I know people are gonna be mad at me, but Please forgive me because I don't know anything. All right, is this another toothbrush? Fairy Will used toothbrush. Isn't that kind of weird? <coughs> oh, I just choked on my own spit. I was so disgusted by another used toothbrush. 
You guys, I don't even know what. It's like dusty. It's like covered in some kind of powdery substance. Yeah, this is just, what is this? Oh my God. Wait, is this? Maybe this is like a, not a toothbrush, but a water pick. This one looks slightly more wrapped, but still, I don't know. I just have the ick factor. But you know what? I say all the time I love buying um, vintage used thrifted shoes, and sometimes people are really grossed out by that. So, you know, does this once again not have any toothbrush heads? Yeah, look, do these just not come? Do these not come with heads? Is that like an extra attachment that you have to buy? I don't know, we have two bases of electric toothbrushes and no heads for me to try and like, zzz, you know, do a little sample for you. Okay, please, no more, ew. Okay, this is like, this is extra icky and I literally don't wanna open it. Um, It's a thermometer. You guys, I'm just gonna be donating this. I mean, there's like kind of nothing to show here. Um, It is a used thermometer. I cannot open that. Forgive me. Um, I'm sure everybody out there has seen a infrared thermometer by now. Okay, this actually looks like an item. A good item. Is it my size? Is it my size? I don't know. These actually say new and they actually don't look used. It is fuzzy leopard slippers. Oh, they're supposed to be memory foam. <gasps> Ooh, these are very, very soft. <gasps> and okay, they're a US 910. But you know, what if it's what if it's one or two sizes too big? You know, nobody's looking. All right, you guys, two more items. We have a get in the van. It says get in the van on the back. Get in the van. It's a card game called Hello. It's a card game called Get in the Van. That is, that is very strange. <laughs> it sounds like something, a game you don't want to play. Um, let's go ahead and see what the cards look like. Oh, they have these like glowing green guitar picks. Oh my God, you guys, this is the latest I've filmed in a really long time. <laughs> And I feel like hardly nothing wants to focus. <gasps> these are like naughty cards. I feel like I can't even show these to you guys. Oh no. Um, let me see if I can find something. This is like really weird. Okay, let me see if I can find something funny. Okay, can't show, can't show, can't show, can't show. So much can't show. They're, it's all the same. It's a deck of all the same cards. I don't think I can show you guys any of these cards. It's like, okay, I can show you that one. Look at that. Get in the van. Do you want to play get in the van with me? And lastly, oh, ooh, look, okay, if this actually works, does this thing really work? This will be far and away the best item that we pull out of this box. So this is, I'm not sure if this is the exact one that was like big time trending on TikTok a year or so ago, the skylight. Do y'all remember seeing those things where it's the star projector? So definitely this has been opened and like it looks super tampered tampered with. Um, if this does not work, I will tell you guys. <gasps> it looks like it's like missing the cord, but it also looks like it's just one of those standard USB kind of cords. Dogman and I actually have an item that is really similar to this. It is super relaxing. We ended up getting one that didn't just have stars though. It also has like an underwater theme, like lots of different stuff. Cause sometimes, oh my God, you guys, as tonight, uh, sometimes I struggle big time with like, I don't know if it's like actual insomnia. It's probably just cause I drink like 20 cups of coffee every single day. Uh, but sometimes I really cannot fall asleep at night. So we will like turn this on and it's just like a soft little like mellow light show. And it's very relaxing and it lulls you to sleep sometimes. Oh, ew, 
It has hair on it. Oh my god. Do you guys see that? I would love to hear all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. This definitely, I feel like, was a thematic roller coaster. It is not what I expected we would be unboxing at all today. I thought it was going to be uh, other people's mail, which in a way it was. These are definitely returns. And I forgot how much they were selling these for. I will see if I can figure it out. I think it was like 80 or a hundred dollars and I just would not I don't know I'm starting to think in my opinion most of these services are like gimmicky I feel like it would be really fun if I could go to a flea market and actually pick out the packages myself I've also seen like some other pop-up shops that do this now where you can go and pick out the packages yourself I feel like if I could find a situation like that I would do this again but it's kind of these mail order companies I don't know maybe I would do it again but I would not recommend that y'all do it just because I don't want to see y'all like get scammed um the first time I feel like it was cool because like I bought the box I bought one of the boxes and like the items that I got in it was really good and it was like basically the same stuff that I had gotten in the influencer box but this is just weird two toothbrushes and I don't know a bunch of stuff that's like clearly kind of like used or something I don't know I don't know I would have to say the slippers the Samsung earbuds if they work and the projector if it works would definitely be the three best things out of the box and everything else is kind of icky in my opinion but that is it for today I cannot wait to hear all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings I love you guys so so much and I'll be back again very very soon bye